I just can't resist things that are pretty and make me smile. I can't get enough of them, obviously. <laughs> Hello guys, I'm Aria, welcome to my channel. So today we're gonna to be talking about Stony Clover Lane again, one of my favorite brands. And ever since my past couple of videos about my Clovis and my Stony Clover Lane Target haul, a lot of people have asked me to do a video on my Stony Clover Lane collection, which you can see a lot of it behind me. So that's what we're gonna do in this video. This is probably gonna be a longer one, so I'm gonna break down all of the different categories that I have and I'm gonna try and organize this video that way so I'll try and do chapters if you want to skip around and see whichever section interests you the most or if you want ah, <laughs> or if you want to watch the whole thing that's also cool too I would love that happy to share this with you guys I just love this brand and I love things that are pretty and shiny and fun and also help me organize myself so that's why I have such a big collection because I do use a lot of the stuff, whether it's when I'm traveling, in my car, on my nightstand, around the house, going to work every day. It just helps me keep all of my stuff organized and looking cute, which is very essential for Aria. <laughs> I love functional and I love cute. And when I can put them together, it's very exciting. And be sure to let me know in the comments what you guys think about this brand. I personally think a lot of their stuff is really, really high quality, really well made. I love that you can customize everything. I like to put my name on a lot of stuff or fun sayings or different icons and patches. That's my favorite part about the brand because you can kind of make it your own. And I think that's so much fun. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. And if you have any questions about anything that I showed or any questions about how I use my Sony Clover Lane stuff, feel free to ask. I would love to help out. All right. Let's get into it. All right, so first up in the collection, we have the duffel bags. I freaking love the Stony Clover Lane duffels. Honestly, if I traveled more, I would probably own more duffels, but I've held myself to these five because I don't travel every single week. Trust me, if I did, I would buy, and honestly, I still might buy more. <laughs> don't hold me to that. So I've got five of the regular size duffels, and then I do have one mini that I have yet to use, but she's gorgeous. This is a guava. I got this at the sample sale last year and she's just beautiful. She's a little bit smaller than the Target duffel bags. If you've seen those, that's kind of the size of the mini. This one's just a little bit smaller, but a great size for like going uh, to the gym or something like that. I don't think I would take it traveling only because I pack a lot of stuff and I need more space. So this is the Sensational Six duffel from the most recent Mickey and Friends collection. I have my little run Disney luggage tag there from one of the Princess Half Marathons. And I love this one. I haven't customized it yet because I can't decide what I want. I might put Disney on the front with the Disney letters or maybe like a mini head or maybe have all the sensational six patches I don't know I can't decide I'm very indecisive sometimes when it comes to my patching so there are some items that are not patched for that reason but I love that print so cute and then this super gorgeous one with the Sherpa was from their fall collection this past year it's like a buttercream off-white color with really pretty Sherpa very cool for winter traveling and then this one was from their pastel picnic collection last spring I absolutely love this this is the color color water watermelon and I do have this little ruffle heart sewn on the front very very cute one of my favorites because as you guys can probably tell pink is one of my favorite colors so that's probably why half of my duffels are pink <laughs> I'm obsessed with this Hello Kitty duffel this is from their Hello Kitty collaboration probably a year or so ago a year or more I don't know but this is my favorite print in that collection and I only have a couple pieces in it but I love 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 it and so I put my name on the front in these glitter pink letters Aria big fan. This is probably my most favorite one because it's in my favorite color that they have bubble gum and then I just have my name on it in the bubble gum rolled embroidery letters. And what I really love about their duffel bags is that one, it's a really good size. Like I said, they're really high quality and very well made. But I also like that they fit underneath your seat in an airplane. And so I like to bring it as a carry on and I put some larges and smalls to organize some stuff inside and I put it under my seat and I'll usually travel with that in a backpack as my two carry-on items and then like I said organize with smaller pouches inside which I think is awesome because I would not check these because they're too pretty and I don't want to get them dirty. Next we have backpacks. As you can see I usually store my backpacks hung up here over my duffel bags but let's bring them out and show you guys each one. 
All right, backpacks. So I would say backpacks are probably one of my most used Stony Clover Lane items. I think next to fanny packs, I use them all the time. This one, as you can kind of see, is full of stuff because I've been using it as my work bag lately, but this is in my favorite color bubblegum. And I put one of the rainbow gingham heart patches on the front from last year and I use it all the time. I usually keep, let's see, I usually keep, yeah, I keep a mini pouch in the front here with some smaller items and then I'll usually put a couple smalls inside to sort of organize, sometimes a small pouch. So yeah, I've got some stuff in here. I've got snacks, I've got a notebook, and I believe there's a small somewhere in here. Yeah, and so I've got a small in here to sort of organize all of my stuff because it is a pretty large backpack. So I like to keep smaller pouches inside to organize it, but I love it. I use it all the time, like I said, as a work bag. When I'm running back and forth with the kids, it's just nice to be hands-free and still be able to carry a bunch of stuff. So I also have this one in one of the Hello Kitty prints. Love that one. And then I've got two of the Heart Mini backpacks. I don't wear these quite as much as the regular size ones, only because they just don't hold as much stuff. But they're still very cute. These are both from the Pastel Picnic Collection in Hydrangea and Watermelon. And then I love this one. This was probably my first Stony Clover Lane backpack. This is in a discontinued color Lagoon, but I love it. I have a bubblegum A stitched on the front for Aria, obviously. This is one of my newest backpacks. I just bought this one brand new off Mercari because it's a discontinued one. This is in the sparkling cider color, which I love and had to have it. So I'm excited to patch this one. I'm thinking I might put some sparkling cider letters on the front down here or something up here. I don't know. Thoughts down below, whatever you think I should put on there, let me know. And then and this one in the Friends Forever print from their Mickey and Friends collection, and I have my name and the Disney letters right here, Aria. I used this one when I went to Disney World in February, and it was a huge hit. Lots of people stopped me and told me how adorable my backpack was, and I was like, it is, thank you. And this is in the color Mango, which is now discontinued, but I apparently have a couple of the discontinued colors. Um, but I really love the tropical color of mango. I haven't really used her a lot and I haven't patched her yet, but she's beautiful. And then I have another Disney one. This one is the Disney princess one. I love the ruffles on it. It's very cute. I also like to use this one when I go to Disney or just bopping around town with the kids. I like all the princesses on it. I don't have any patches on this one because I just like the print so much and I couldn't really decide on any patches to blend with it. I just kind of like it plain. So that's that. Next up we have totes. So I usually keep these hanging next to my backpacks where the duffel bags are and I've got two classic and a couple of the minis. So in the classic, I've got guava and I've got sparkling cider. Neither one of these are patched because I haven't been able to make my mind up about what I want them to say because I use them for a variety of purposes. Like if I'm out with the family, if we're going to the beach or something, any anytime I need a lot of stuff because the classic totes are rather large, you can kind of see, let me do a comparison. So this is the mini tote size compared to the classic tote. It's it's large, it's very huge, and I just can't carry that big of a bag on an everyday basis, which is why I really like the mini totes. I use the mini a lot for when I'm going to work. So I've got one in bubblegum here with a noir heart on the front. I've got one in the Addy pattern, which I love in the American Girl letters. It has my initials on it. And then I've got one in the rainbow gingham print from last year with a rainbow gingham heart on the front. Like I said, I use these a lot for work. When I'm not using a backpack, I'll usually take a mini tote and it holds everything that I need for the day. But like I was saying, the classic totes are a, quite a bit larger and so I don't use them on an everyday basis. So I use them a lot more sparingly just for when I need a lot of stuff. Next up are my large pouches. So I really like this size of pouch because they can hold a lot of stuff. Like I don't even feel like on camera when you look at a picture of it, you would think that it holds as much as it does, but it holds a lot of stuff. Like this one, I have magic sewn on the front in patches in Flamingo. And I use this one a lot to carry my ears when I go to Disney World. I put my mini ears in that one. I've also got one from the Barbie collection that I use to hold a lot of my pens and stickers and stuff. I have another one that says plan on the front in the patches. This one is in guava and it's one of their clear fronts. I don't even know if they make this one anymore. Um, I know they don't make guava. I don't know if they make the large clear fronts anymore they used to but this one holds a lot of my planner supplies and whatnots this one they're all like heavy because a lot of them have stuff in them and i'm using them oh this one smells good so this is my large in the pistachio i haven't patched this one but i'm thinking about putting body on the front of it in the 
either cotton candy or avocado ro rolled embroidery. Um, so this one holds all of my body sprays, lotions, etc. that I use in the bathroom all the time. That's why it smells delicious like a cupcake, honestly. <laughs> This one is in another retired color acai, and this has bikinis on it. So I use this one when I'm packing to put all of my bikinis and swimwear and whatnot. That's what goes in this pouch. So that's one thing that I like to use my large pouches for. I either use it for, like I said, pens and planner supplies and body sprays and whatnot in the bathroom to organize that kind of stuff. But I also use them when I'm packing to organize specific items of clothing. So I also use my packing cubes, which I'll show in a minute, but then I'll use the large pouches as well, sort of as additional packing cubes to organize um, different categories. So like bikinis or swimsuits or socks or underwear or, you know, whatever else. You know, random categories of packing. I'm not gonna list them all. <laughs> then I have my large and the Addy print, which I love. I put an Addy patch and the little needle point in the corner, which I thought was really cute. I love that one. And then this one in one of the Roller Rabbit collabs. I loved the little rainbows. They're so cute. I haven't put the patches on this one yet, but I do have picked out two flamingo, like an AC, and then a couple hearts that I'm going to put on it for my initials. That's going to be very cute. And I imagine I might use these because I also bought the Roller Rabbit pajamas in the same pattern when they did their collab with Stody Clover and so I'll use these probably to pack my pajamas when I go traveling. And then I have this one in like I said my favorite Hello Kitty pattern. I love the airplanes. I haven't patched this one yet either. There's a number of pouches that you'll see that I haven't patched yet because again I can't I have a hard time making up my, my mind on what I want on them, but I do have some picked out. I just haven't attached them to it. And then my all-time favorite large pouch ever is this bubblegum one with my name in the pink pearl letters and then a little Hello Kitty bow that I had stitched on. It's so cute and so Aria. This is like the quintessential Aria pouch right here. <laughs> it's got everything. It's got Hello Kitty, pink, pretty, girly, like it's... It's the Aria pouch. It just is. I told you just forgot. I remembered I had one more large pouch that I forgot to show. It's in the sparkling cider and I probably forgot because it's still in the packaging. I haven't put the patches on it or started using it yet, but it goes along with my other sparkling cider collection that I have. And I'm looking forward to using this one. I just haven't had an opportunity to open her up and personalize her yet. My fannies, my favorite. These are my absolutely favorite stony clover item and i would say that they're my most used next to my backpacks i use these all the time especially on the weekends when i'm out and about with the kids or running errands or whatever i don't normally have them all hanging up here i have some over in my drawer but i figured for the video i would just hang them all here for explanation purposes so first up we've got the bubble gum my favorite i don't have her patched because i can't make a decision <laughs> Have I heard that before? Then I've got Guava with an A on the front. I think this was my very first Stony Clover fanny pack, probably. Then I've got Watermelon in the Pastel Picnic Collection. I was gonna put a white pearl heart on the front, but I just haven't done it yet, but that's the plan. This one is in Flamingo with a white Blanc heart on the front, love that. This one is the Nashville Store exclusive pack. <laughs> this is the Nashville Store exclusive fanny pack with which is like a velvet material with these gold stars. Love that. I got that at the Nashville store opening. And then I have my Sensational Six, which I share with Autumn. She says it's her fanny pack, but I mean, honestly, it's both of ours. I don't know, mostly mine, but <laughs> she can share it when she wants to. She wore it when we went to Disney World this past February, but we've got a little Minnie Mouse patch on the front of it. Very, very cute. Matches very nicely with my duffel. And then I've got an Ariel fanny pack, which I have a couple of patches that I'm going to put on this. I just haven't decided kind of how I want to do it. I got a Sebastian and a Flounder and an Ariel. I'm not sure if I'm going to put all of them or maybe one or two. And then I have my Tiana fanny pack with a little frog print here on the front. Very cute. And then I've got this Hydrangea one also from last year's Pastel Picnic Collection with a bubblegum heart stitched on the front. And then last but not least, I have my friends forever from the mickey and friends collection that i also wore when i went to disney world very cute love my fanny packs cannot get enough of them i actually have another one in blanc that's on the way here now to add to my collection and now that i'm looking at it i could also really use a purple because i noticed i don't have any purple i have a lot of pink it's my favorite so like that's legitimate i have a blue one i have red 
green, but no purple. So that's a hole. We're gonna have to fill at some point. Next we have open tops. I only have three of them and I probably don't see myself adding too many more of them in the future because I feel like this is all I need. I use this one every single day. This holds my everyday makeup in it and I love that they come with a mirror on it. So it's really great for traveling. I'll just put my makeup in it and then I've got a little mirror if I need it, if I'm doing my makeup on the go. So I've got this one in the Rainbow Gingham, which I said I use every day. It's filled with my makeup that I use for everyday looks. And then I've got one from the Barbie collection and then one from the Princess collection. I love that this one has the little ruffles on it. I will sometimes bring two of them traveling if I just have a lot of makeup that I'm traveling with and I need two open tops to carry it. I have no justification. Sometimes I just can't decide which looks I want to do for that trip. So I'll bring extra. <laughs> so along the same lines as my open tops, this is an item that I only have one of. It's the pencil pouch and I have it in the Hello Kitty. I actually also ordered one in the Rainbow Gingham to match this open top. And I use this one when I'm traveling to put my makeup brushes in. So I'll put my brushes in a Ziploc and then put them in this pencil pouch and then throw that inside of my open top. And it's a good way to keep them organized and looking adorable. I realized I forgot one more open top. I have this one in cotton candy, which is the clear front, and then I have a clear top, I guess, and it just has cute on the top of it. Very adorable. I don't think they even make, and I'm not sure if they make the clear open tops anymore, but they're very cute if they do. Still make. This is my collection of small pouches. I would say this is probably the item that I have the most of, I think. I don't know. Somebody else can count, or I'll try to count at some point and see how many I have, but I think. If I had to guess, these smalls are what I have the most of. I also use them pretty often. I like to use them in my purses, like either in my mini tote or in my backpack to organize small stuff inside of a large space. Or while I'm traveling, same thing to organize some of my smaller stuff. As you can see, some of them are patched. Some of them I'm still working on my commitment issues. <laughs> A lot of them I have the patches for them, like this white one, it's going to be like a Christmas themed one and I have the patches to go on, I just haven't put it on there. Same with this um, one in the Lagoon, I have the patches and same for this mango, I have the patches, I just need to put them on there. So then I've got this polka dot one that matches with the large that I have, I've got the Sensational Six that also matches. I think I'm going to put a Minnie Mouse, the, the full bodied Minnie Mouse on here, that's sort of my plan for this one. And then I've got my sparkling cider with the XOXO, very cute. My little Cinderella with the glass slipper and the carriage. I've got Hello Kitty. I have a patch for this one also that I have to put on. And then I've got the Hello Kitty bows with the, with the glitter, with the, um, oh my gosh, I can't think, with the pink pearl A on the front for Aria. This one is an acai with masks that I hold my masks in. You can feel it's, well, you can't feel, I can feel it's very full of masks right now. This is another Hello Kitty one with a, I think, what color is that? Is that guava? It might be a guava A. Um, and I keep pens in this by my nightstand. And then I love this guava one with just a simple rainbow pearl on the front. And then I've got my Aurora with the three fairies on the front. Love that one so much. Like I said, my mango. I've got Tiana and I've got Tiana and Ray. Love those patches. This one I use a lot in my bubblegum backpack. So it's got a Blanc heart on it. This is one of my first, actually might be the first, if not one of the first Stony Cloverlane items that I ever bought. I was very drawn to it. It was beautiful. And those are my smalls. I just realized I forgot one. This is actually one of my favorite smalls. So this is in the princess pattern and it's got the pearl white. It's got the white pearl letters in magic on the front. Very cute for Disney. Like I said, one of my favorites. I usually keep her on display up here, which is why I forgot to grab her. Next up are definitely the cutest items in the bunch, which are the minis. They're so adorable. So this is the mini in Flamingo with the pink pearl A on it. I use this one by my nightstand that has a bunch of my charging cables and whatnot that I need. This one is the Friends Forever from the Mickey and Friends collection and I use this one a lot. And some of my other minis as well, I kind of swap them out in like my backpack or my mini totes that I take to work to handle and organize some of my smaller items like lip gloss, straw toppers, one keychain or something like that, hand sanitizer, that kind of stuff so it doesn't get lost in my purse. And then I've got this one in mint chip from the pastel picnic collection with the bubblegum A on the front. This one I keep in my desk with a bunch of cords and whatnot. I have a lot of cords so I like the minis to sort of organize some of them in a smaller package. Then I've got this one that matches my Sherpa duffel that I showed earlier. I haven't put the patch on yet but I'm planning to put this little A on the front of it. You can kind of see 
that'll be cute but I haven't put it on yet but that's the plan and then I've got my sparkling cider with my initials on it I thought that was very cute it matches the XOXO small that I have and then I've got this one that I haven't patched yet but I think I'm gonna put a Hello Kitty on in Lagoon and then I've got this one in the pistachio that matches my large pistachio I was thinking a Hello Kitty for this one too or possibly an A those are like my go-to's my initials or a Hello Kitty or some kind of icon. I just think the patches are so cute. So again, I just have commitment issues and I have trouble deciding. And then this is one of my favorites too, a mini in the bubble gum that matches all my other bubble gum stuff. And I do have the Hello Kitty patch that I'm gonna put on her. I just haven't attached it yet. And then I've got an item that I probably have more than I could ever need. I am a writer and I love writing and I love journals and notebooks. And so I have a, quite a collection of, actually not that many, but Considering the amount of other notebooks, non Stony Clover, that I have, I probably don't need even these many, <laughs> but I love a notebook. I can't help it. So I've got a couple of their notebook covers, and they come with the lined paper that you can refill or you can put your own planner or whatever or notebook inside. Um, but this one's the Hydrangea with a bubblegum A on it. And then I've got a bubblegum one with the rainbow gingham heart on it that I love. And then I've got one in guava. And then I've got a Hello Kitty one. And then I've also got a princess one with the ruffles. I thought this was so cute. I really like their notebooks. And I like that they have a little pen holder inside. You can snap out the notebook, like I said, and refill it or put in your own notebook. But very cute. Those are the notebooks. And this is an item that, like the pencil, pencil pouch, I only have one of them. But I use it all the time. So this is my lunch tote. And I have this one in the rainbow gingham print. It came out last year. And I put the rainbow gingham A on it. I use it almost every day to carry my lunch to work so it definitely comes in handy and it's very adorable all right then i have three sets of their packing cubes so i have the mickey and friends collection and it's got i think seven packing cubes in here if i remember correctly and they've got all the different patterns what i love about the packing cube collections is that when they come out with other collections they have one of each of the patterns so if there are other pouches that i don't want to get in that pattern i like to get the packing cues because then i can still have something in each print without having to get a bunch of other pouches that i don't necessarily need so like this one's got all the mickey and friends different um prints but all i didn't have to buy like a whole separate like a small pouch of each print just to have one in each print when i don't need a small pouch but i like the packing cubes so i got those and then I have the same in the pastel picnic collection. I think this one comes with five, if I remember correctly. And so again, it's got one in every one of the pastel picnic colors. I love those to keep me organized when I'm traveling. I like to organize them by outfits or by categories. So like pants, tops, underwear, bras, etc. And then I have in the princess collection as well. And like I said, it's got one of every single princess print included. So love that okay next we're gonna go through the flat pouches and then we'll get into the smaller accessories so this is my favorite flat pouch it's the rainbow terry with the pearl heart on the front of it this was quite the hot commodity when it came out it sold out in like seconds so i was very lucky to get this and i love it so much i definitely carry it a lot i like to use my flat pouches as clutches when i'm going out and so I also have one in the princess print. I have a Hello Kitty one. I have a couple Hello Kitty ones actually. I also have Hello Kitty's face. And then I've got this clear one with that says snacks on it. And I use this one in my bag pretty much every day to hold snacks that I need at work and gum and post-it notes and whatever else I need. And then I've got this clear one with my, na my initials on it and a Blanc heart. And then I've got this one from the American Girl collection and I put little Christmas trees on it thinking it was a very Christmassy pattern. Pattern, so love that and then I also have this one one of my newer ones they put a lot of my straw charms and toppers in very cute also in my favorite bubblegum and then onto these smaller accessories so these are all of my stony clover scrunchies I have a lot of them like I've got some from the princess collection and the different princesses I've got the Nashville exclusive one these are from the pastel picnic collection the Mickey and friends um, their park and beach collab I like to wear the scrunchies either in my hair or on my wrist to match a bag that I'm carrying and then I have them on this little holder organizer to keep them 
nice and organized. And then I've got a couple of wallets. I've got the trifold wallet in bubblegum with the bubblegum A. I love this one because it holds just a lot of stuff, all of my cards and everything, dollar bills, coins, etc. And I've got two of the keychain wallets in avocado with an avocado star and bubblegum with the bubblegum A. I like these when I'm carrying a smaller bag that the trifold won't fit into. So I'll put my cards and cash in here. My newest one, if you've been following my Instagram, I love her. I just got her this past week. This is their scrunch hand bag and it's in bubblegum obviously I definitely need more colors because I love it then I've got a couple of hair bows that I use either for my hair or for my daughters these are from the pastel picnic collection I've got a couple of keychains this was from the Barbie collection in a seashell and this one I got at the Nashville store opening it says SCL y'all and I've got one of the silk eye masks I use this when I sleep to block out light and this is in bubblegum they come in all the core colors and then this is my collection of Lily Sadugi and stony clover headbands so these are, the bubblegum is obviously my favorite this was from when they called bubblegum hibiscus and the pearl from a couple years ago and cotton candy i've got the rainbow gingham um, these are also from the pastel picnic so i've got watermelon hydrangea and mint chip and then these are the newest ones the newest ones that were released um, earlier last year or this year i don't remember honestly at this point when it happened but it happened Someone can correct me if you'd like. I honestly just don't remember. So this is bu the new bubblegum and avocado, Blanc, Periwinkle, and tie-dye. Those are my headband collections. I love them so, so much. They always make me feel sparkly and beautiful whenever I wear them. All right, if you made it through this much of the video, I also wanted to show you guys some of my loose patches that I have that I haven't attached to pouches yet. So some of these I have a plan for them. I just haven't put them on yet. So like these are the ones that I was talking about to go on the small Blanc pouch that I have to make it sort of wintry and then I've got a collection of Hello Kitties. I've got some rainbow gingham stars, some flamingo letters, bubble gum, got some princess. These are the ones that I was talking about for my Ariel fanny pack potentially. And then I've got this love in ruby that I really want to get a ruby backpack and I want to put this on there and with a little star. I've got a rainbow, <laughs> rainbow, I've got a pearl heart that I think I might put on my one of my fanny packs haven't decided and then i've got the little mickey peace fingers little mini mouse bow a little mini mouse potentially for my sensational six small and i've got some ac this is the one that are, these are the ones that are going to go in the roller rabbit bag that i showed earlier and then my secret secret shame this is a bag and assortment of patches that i picked up at the sample sale last year that i have no intention for but i don't know I, I don't have a direct intention on where I'm putting these patches. They will go on something at some point. Like I got some that spell out skin, some that spell out bikinis again. That's how I got the patches for my bikini pouch. I got them from the sample sale. Um, and then some other random like A's and C's and to spell Aria and whatnot in different colors. So they'll be used at some point. But for right now, they just live in this, in this sad Ziploc bag. <laughs> I should actually, I should get a pouch like a mini or something, maybe even a small because this is a decent amount to put spare patches in. That's actually, I'm going to do that. And then I'll spell out patches in some of these patches. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it for this video. That is my Stony Clover collection. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm a little bit exhausted because that was a lot to go through, but I genuinely love all of these pieces. And like I was saying in the video, I use them all for different occasions, for different purposes, and it just helps keep me organized, which I love, and I love to look at cute things also, so it's just a perfect, perfect match for me, and I'm so glad that my friend Mary introduced me to this brand about a year ago, um, because I'm obviously in love and have never looked back. <laughs> So like I said in the beginning, if you have any questions about anything that I shared or you want me to show something else or let you in on how I use things, how I decide how to patch them, how I attach my patches if I don't get them sewed, etc. And I would be happy to answer any of those questions or comments. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.